back to Ryan Knows Tech. We're here today. We're going to take a look at a product that I picked up just before I went on a two-week trip across the United States. Uh, I was going to be on a long road trip from Ohio to California, and I figured it would be time to get an iPhone battery case. And this is what claims to be the original case. It's called the Mophie Juice Pack Air. It is uh, simply an iPhone case that is capable of charging the battery when it's on the phone. This is going to run you $79.95 from Mophie.com. You can find it at the Apple Store. I picked it up on Amazon for a few dollars cheaper. It is a slightly a different version. It may be an older one or a newer one of what is uh, available elsewhere, but we're going to take a quick look at it today and talk about what it can do. Anyways, this one is for the iPhone 4 and 4S. It's the same case. It's pretty much the same. Um, well, it is the same charging hardware. We've got a 30-pin connector here on the bottom, so you can see how this is going to slide in. This bottom piece comes off like that. I like to put the buttons and everything in first. There's a nice little cutout over here. It fits pretty well. We slide that in, give it a push. It hugs around the phone. There's no way it's coming out of here. We've got a cutout on the back for the camera and flash, and you can see it does add quite a bit of bulk, but we've got a 1500 milliamp uh, or what 1500 milliamp hour, whatever that specification is, MAH battery in here, it's going to charge your phone from zero to about 75%. So it's almost as good as having an entire another iPhone battery with you. This is the bottom piece. It's going to snap on. It fits really well into the 30-pin connector there. With the iPhone 5, we may have a 19-pin connector, in which case we need to use an adapter or possibly an entire different product. So that'll kind of suck if I get the next iPhone. But on the bottom here, it adds uh, maybe uh, not even a half inch, third of an inch of, uh, of bulk to the bottom there where the charging part is. And there's two little cutouts for the speakers as well as the Mophie name there. On the bottom, there's a button just to see how much power the actual battery pack has in it. It's very similar to the battery on the or the button on the side of a MacBook Pro to tell you how much battery power is in there. The left, as we saw before, we have the cutout. The top is totally wide open to the power button, the microphone, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So don't worry about your headphones not fitting. And then the right side's all closed off. Down on the bottom, we have the what I believe is mini USB cable that comes with it. This is just mini USB or micro USB to um, to USB. So that's how you're going to charge or sync your phone while this case is on and as well as charging the case with or without the phone installed in the case. So of course with USB, charge it from a computer or something like this. You iPad owners know what that looks like. And to start the case to charge the actual iPhone, there's this little switch on the left side. Right now it's off. You can see there's a little red dot in there. As soon as I slide it that way, it turns green and we're now charging. If I can get rid of that notification, uh, we're charging the phone battery from 76%. It does not charge quite as quickly as plugging your phone through a sync cable right into one of these. Uh, it's probably about the same um, transfer rate of power as you would find plugging it right into uh, your laptop via the 30-pin sync cable that we're all very familiar with like that. Uh, but this is a great product. It does add uh, a little bit of weight and bulk to the phone, but I, it's not something that you're not going to be able to live with. And it was very useful. Uh, being out all day, away from power, aside from maybe a USB port in the X5 on the way out there. Uh, but it was really great to be able to have this on all day. Usually I would charge my phone all night, pick it up in the morning. It would get me till 5 or 6 p.m. with the kind of directions and all the stuff I was using it for on that trip. So then come dinner time, I flipped the switch, and I was definitely good until I would go to bed and plug it in, charge everything up overnight again. So I would definitely recommend one of these if you're looking for an iPhone case uh, with a battery in it. It's the best one that I've seen. It looked like it had the best reviews. It's also available in the Apple Store, which is actually where I got this one, I think. I said Amazon. That was one I bought uh, as a gift for a friend. So leave some comments down below. Do you have one of these? Do you like it? If you've been considering, I, if you've been considering it, I say go for it. Uh, I have no complaints. As far as protection, I know a lot of people are concerned about that. It's probably not the best case out there. It's made of uh, well, plastic, and the back is kind of a it's a matte plastic, but it definitely picks up finger oils. As you can see, it's dirty, uh, so you may want to clean that every once in a while. But I have not dropped it with this on here, so there's no marks or anything on the side. I do feel it would definitely protect it quite a bit better than having your phone naked or maybe a bumper case, since it does cover the entire back, and uh, all the corners are covered as well. 
Um, build quality is pretty decent. It, it doesn't creak or anything down here. It, it feels solid and uh, definitely a product that I would recommend. Thanks for watching the video here. Like it, leave me some comments, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Check out our tech site, techinform.us. I'll try to post a review on this if I can find some time there and link this video up to it. As well as my Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The link for uh, everything I just talked about is down below. Again, thanks for watching. Happy Friday. Have an awesome weekend, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.